So this is the first stage of making bread on the GAPS diet. In my bowl, I have two and a half cups of store-bought almond flour. I keep it in the freezer and that stops it going rancid. I've just add, added about a quarter of a cup of whey and I'm mixing it together. And when I've finished, it's going to be like cookie dough. Uh, so it's a bit too crumbly. I think I probably need to add a little bit more. This is still quite cold as it's come out of the freezer, so perhaps that's why it's not taking it up so well. So I'm going to add some more whey. I've got most of a half a, a cup of whey there. And uh, perhaps you can see it's beginning to stick together nicely. So when I've made this, I will keep it in my bowl, stand it on the countertop for 24 hours, and that will ferment the almond flour. Yeah, I think that's about right now. So most of a cup, most of half a cup of whey is mixed into this. And uh, we'll see what happens when it stands on the counter for 24 hours. So I need to cover that with a cloth or a plate, stop anything landing in it. And uh, after 24 hours, we will go on to the next stage. So now I'm going to show you what to do with the fermented flour. We're going to make it into bread. This is Gap's bread made with flour, eggs and yoghurt. So I'm going to break my four eggs into the mixing bowl. One, two, three. I've got two large eggs and two medium eggs here. Four, four eggs. And give it a jolly good whisk up. So beat your eggs. I've got a nice whisk here. all nicely mixed add in your yogurt this is the best one to use of all the ingredients you'll see a recipe down below at the top of the YouTube listing so now I'm beating in this yogurt to look like porridge so I'm just going to add it a bit at a time and carry on beating carry on adding it I'm adding it about a third at a time Ooh, going in nicely in and it's all added now. This really isn't too difficult, it's a little bit hard but not too difficult to add it in. It's incorporated it really quite well. So get my spatula and I'm going to put it in a one pound loaf tin, which is lined with a, with a liner, a paper liner. There we go. Put it all in. There we are. So I'm just going to pop that in the oven. 